35, Master the Art of Timing. Okay, so a little story. I'm an MMA fighter, and I didn't realize how important timing was before I started really getting serious about it. So let's say a person is punching. If you know the right timing, you can see their punch, and you can know, hey, all I need to do is punch here because their hand's out here, and their face is open. So knowing the right timing is very, very important to all things in life. Maybe you work a regular job and you're looking to gain power. Maybe you want a promotion. Asking your boss at the right time is going to increase the likelihood of you getting that promotion. Let's say he just had a family member die and you ask him the very next morning. It's less likely that you're going to get the promotion if you... as a. On the other hand, imagine you ask him right after he just shot his best game of golf and won a thousand bucks. You ask him, maybe he's like, yeah. Because he's in a better mood. He has more resources. He's not feeling down. Now, resources are also emotional. You're sad, you're depressed, you have less resources. You're energetic, you're happy, you have more resources. So we need to start thinking about resources also beyond like money, uh, building materials, real estate. Also emotions because that's where everything starts, okay? So master the art of timing is... One, never seem to be in a hurry. So it's like, if you feel like, oh, I, ha I have to rush through this video, like, oh, but yeah, uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so force time. Yeah, 48 levels of power. Go like, comment, subscribe. Okay, that doesn't feel good. I'm slowing it down. I'm taking my time. I'm, I'm not seeming in a hurry. Now, listen. Some people are too lazy. They take way too long during doing certain things. And if you want to get ahead in life, if you want to get the things that you want, you have to be in a hurry but not seem in a hurry. So you have to be organized in your thinking and your actions. You have to know what you're doing. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you're not going to seem in a hurry because you're not doing anything. You're just going to be like... It's kind of like if I was just talking like this and feeling... Like if I was just doing that, it would be very annoying, okay? So you have to have the timing right. Too slow or too fast... And it won't be right. You have to you have to not appear in a hurry at the right speed. You can think in a hurry too to get things done and be like, hey, I need this is the next thing I'm doing, this is the next thing, after that I'm doing this. But the way you're moving is not like oh, it's not frantic. It's more like, okay, my thoughts, boom, fast. My actions, smooth. Okay, I'm getting them done. Smooth is fast, smooth. Okay? Hurrying betrays, so that means shows, a lack of control over yourself. So if you're not able to control yourself, your body, and be like, hey, you know what, I'm walking confidently, I'm doing this confidently because I'm not in a hurry, then people are going to see you as less confident because you're not in control over your own self, over your own time, over your own energy, okay? Become a detective of the moment. Find the trends of the time and they will carry you to power, okay? So this is something that I'm getting better at. The trend timing. Finding the trends. I've heard Ty Lopez talk about this. You know, people get rich off trends. Nowadays, it's easy to see trends. You can go on Google. You can go on TikTok. You can go on Instagram. You can go on Facebook. And literally, all, the, all of them have like a trending thing. So go on there ride the wave of the trends okay attach yourself to the trends there's also evergreen stuff like 48 laws of power is evergreen like it's going to be good valuable information forever so attach yourself to evergreen for the long run and then ride the trends when they're at their peak and you can cash in on them so to speak and then once they're declining get off them it's like riding a wave you're at the top or off the top when it's gone you're done Becoming a detective of the moment is really actually a good thing. I just read this and I was like, oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Being a detective, it's like you're more aware of what's around you, okay? Like I have my drink over here, the camera's here, I have notes. I can see everything. I'm more in the moment. Stand back when needed and fiercely strike when you see peak fruitation. So if, once again, back to fighting, if you see someone with their hands down, strike, right? Maybe they're punching, you're standing back, you're, you're out of the way, they're like, oh, okay, and then you see that opening, you strike. So fruitation is like, maybe you're standing back, waiting for the tree to grow fruits. You pick all the fruits off when they're ready. Not before they're ready, not after they're ready. So you have to know when to strike, when to do what you're going to do. Same thing go, goes with the back to the promotion thing that I was just talking about. Know when to ask. 
right? So the timing is very important. As of right now, I don't know like a universal algorithm or formula I can give you to be like, hey, here's how to figure out the timing in this situation. It's more like you just have to do it and you have to feel. Now, you can advance time. Like, let's say you meet someone. There are certain tactics that you can use to advance time to make it seem like you've known each other forever by asking them certain questions about their past and doing certain things. I'm not going to get into that right now. But if you want to know how to make someone feel like they've known you for years, 10 plus years, instantly, I can help you with that too. I'll probably release a program in the future. So... A quote that I liked from the book, it says, Space we can recover, time never. So, it's basically like, let's say you were living in a certain town, and you wanted to leave, but you never did because you felt like you didn't want to leave that space. You can always get that space back in the future if you want, okay? But the time you spent waiting, you can never get that back. We can't get time back, so it can kill you, okay? Waiting can kill you. There is an artificial concept that we ourselves have created to make the limitlessness... Oh, that's what I said. Okay. Time is artificial. Okay. We've made up time to make more bearable the infinite universe. So let's say, let's say you don't know what time it is. If you sit... For example, me right now, okay? Let's say I've been filming, right? And I don't remember what time it is. I don't know what time it is because I've been so focused on filming this. Time is gone right now when I'm talking. Unless I just looked at the clock, I wouldn't know what time it is. If I just looked at the clock, I could be like, oh, hey, it's 7 o'clock. But if I didn't, if I haven't looked at the clock for a couple hours, I have no clue what time it is because I'm so focused on what I'm doing. And, and you want to lose time. That's when you're best. That's when you're in your flow state, when you've lost time. I'm not going to talk about flow right now. That's for a completely different course, different video series that I'll probably put out. I'll probably link it if I remember, but I might not remember because I'm uploading these, promoting them. I'm not really going back and editing them or anything. I have a lot of other stuff to do. So time is an artificial concept that we have created to make the limitlessness of eternity and the universe more bearable, more human. So if you think about it, if you had all the money in the world, you wouldn't be really be worried about time, okay? But if you work a 9 to 5, you sleep from 5 to, or you, you're home from 5 to 9, that's your world. You've made it up in your head. 24 hours in a day, 7 days a week, some are weekdays, some are weekends, which week, I don't even like that word, let's call them strong days, strong ends. It's all 365, it's all 12 months, it's all made up, okay? So, like I said, also in seduction and getting, making people feel like they've known you for a long time, you got to take away time. So taking away time, adding time, taking away time typically in the right way it will make people feel relaxed adding time makes people feel more pressured or it could make them also feel relaxed there's a few different ways i'm not going to go too deep into that right now just because i am only right now making you aware of this i'm not going into a hundred percent detail so as adults, our time passes fast. It seems to pass fast simply because most of the stuff we've already done. So our brain puts shortcuts. When it sees something or knows something, it fast forwards past it. Hey, I've already seen this. I don't need to learn it. I don't need to see everything in detail. I don't need to be a detective of the moment because I already have it in my brain. I already know it. And as a child, it seems long because everything's new, okay? All these new experience, wow, you're taking in all this information. Once you've already done it, time advances faster, and that's what it feels like. So it talks about three different types of time, and let's see, yeah. So forced time, making people wait or hurry, I just talked about a little bit. So making people hurry puts pressure on them. When you feel hurried, you're not acting in your most confident self, and... Uh, making people wait so in the book pitch anything it talks about beta traps like you go into a big office building let's say you have an appointment with the ceo what they're gonna tell you is like oh yeah have a seat he'll be with you when he's ready that's a trap that's getting trying to take your confidence away it's trying to take your power away and also if someone's making you hurry or you're making someone hurry mistakes happen so that's forced time like you're using time as a force Hey, you only have 10 minutes. Hey, I only have 6 minutes here. Hey, I only have 7. It's a force. We have long time. 
do not force long time or should yeah do not force life from fear and impatience so long time is like overall you know our whole life if you're living your long game your whole life out of fear or impatience you're not going to have a very good life there's sometimes you want to be impatient just to like move the ball there's sometimes a f some fear is good because it makes you do stuff it makes you move it makes you go get it it puts you into a situation where you're able to live as your best self and then in time so this talks about f finishing an opponent finishing something at the right time you have to be able to see when the right time is to master the art of timing. So you could be hurrying someone or hurrying something. You could be slowing it down or slowing them down. But you need to know when to finish. You need to know that that is the end of what you're currently doing. And the beginning of something new. And as a reversal, the reversal is, you know, the opposite. Some of them don't have reversals. Some of them I don't even mention if they have reversals. This one does not have a reversal. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, get notified, message me, book a session with me. Do whatever you need to do to get in contact because I'm going to help you guaranteed. And make sure you're following Law 35. Master the art of timing.